Today, I'll be discussing a variety of budget plans that you can follow. My name is Manif Ali and I became a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s and I've built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars of sales. I started to make these to share my life experiences to teach others how to become successful and how to become more financially aware and financially responsible. When you say budget, most people think that it's just about getting your total income and your expenses and then putting that aside for savings and retirement. Yes, in its simplest form, but no. A budget can be even more complex than that. And I'm here to discuss several other budget plans that you can follow to help you reach your financial goals faster. This is the most common of all budgets, one that is most popular one. It's called a bucket budget and it follows the 50, 30, 20 rule. 50% of your income goes to needs, 30% goes to wants and 20% goes in savings and investments. It's simple, which is why people follow this method. You don't need to think about it to distribute how much you're going to be allocating in each area. Then you have the debt eraser budget. For those of you that are deep in debt, the debt eraser budget focuses on getting you out of debt and most of your money will go to paying down debts such as credit cards and medical bills and other expenses. This will help you save a lot of money in interest and remember those two to three percent interest rates can hurt your finances each month. Don't just pay your card's minimum amount. You need to rank your debts accordingly, according to the highest interest rate first and which ones have the closest deadlines. Prioritize those and set aside for necessities, paying most of your money towards these debts. This way, you're gonna get back on track a lot faster and getting financial stable a lot sooner, starting your savings and investments right after that. The wealth building budget. This is the budget for whose minds are set on the future. The wealth building budget is perfect for those who have that dream of becoming that millionaire. In this budget, most of your income is going to go towards assets and investments and stocks and real estate and maybe even crypto if you don't mind the risk. This budget will help you diversify your portfolio so you can increase your net worth even faster. The opposite of the wealth building budget is the room for fun budget. This is for the person who primarily wants to enjoy life by gaining experiences of traveling and meeting other people. It might seem counterintuitive for a budget, but meeting people and having new experiences can be a valuable asset. Think of it as making a budget for networking or inspiration for your next project. So if you like to travel, go diving or attend parties, go ahead and try the room for fun budget as long as you set aside some money for your savings, you'll be all right. Heck, you might even meet your next business partner on a trip or get inspired to start another business. Mark your calendars because every Monday we're going to have the Monif Ali podcast. The topics will be anything related to finance and personal development to help you live life of success. You're also going to have exclusive access to Monif's interviews with other successful people who can give you tips and wisdom on becoming a millionaire. For the freelancers, part-timers, contractual workers, this is the type of budget for you. It's the unsteady income budget and is made for those who don't rely on monthly paychecks. If you're passionate, you're an artist, you're creative, let's say, and you're starting out freelancing, secure your budget so you need to focus on essential expenses first and find a way to create a steady income. Think of it as giving uh, a paycheck to yourself that will be sufficient to cover all of your needs. Think of it as a way of creating a more steady income. Put your money into savings right away when you get those lump sum projects done and then over time pull out money so your income is more steady. Make sure you pay the essentials and your bills and your living expenses, but don't go into any of that money unless you truly need it. This will ensure that you get a steady income stream and basically a paycheck. Just make sure you're paying all of your debts that you're responsible for. Keep working and keep doing it until you feel confident that you won't be coming short in the following months. And 
This is a huge problem for a lot of people in the freelancing and contracting world because you never really know when your source of work is going to dry out. That's why I advocate heavy investments, almost like an emergency fund for you. And since your income can fluctuate depending on the number of clients or the number of projects you have, you need to really study your income highs and lows over the last couple of years and months and record everything from you know, cycles going up and down, the number of clients. You could be in a part of the world that really affects your job based on weather. So really jot all that down so you're aware. So take a look at the years you made the least amount of money, even if your business is growing and set the line right there and then develop what I call a cash cushion. That cash cushion is essentially your safety net. You know what your lowest point in your business is, you also know the highest point. Now I want to average everything out with having a cash cushion. Those are the five different budget types that you can use. And remember to base your budget on your personality and your specific situation.